Hey guys and welcome to Farm Simulator 2017 on Oakfield Farm. Yep, I'm not starting it back up per se, but I was just looking through the maps that I wanted to play and... Well, I just wanted to play Oakfield, not gonna lie. So, we'll see how the video does today. Uh, in theory, I'm in Canada, as I was saying yesterday. And... Today is... I think that wedding... We're going to, I don't actually know what day it is. I think, I think it's today. I'm pretty sure it's today. So obviously, still no live stream. Uh, tomorrow we should be live streaming. All things being equal. So this is the Oakfield new game save. Crap! Did that not the header? No. Uh, the new game save for Oakfield. Uh, this is Black Sheep's Man Truck. Of course, you guys would have seen it by now because it's been out. Jeez. Over a week. Uh, this is I'm recording this actually Tuesday of last week. So I'm giving it a go. Uh, the reason why I've got this is just well, I want to give it a gander. So I want to see what it's like. And there's a few weird texture-looking areas on it. As far as lighting goes on the side, uh, let's see if I can show you guys it quick. Sort of, you can see almost each pixel on the masks, and I think that's what it is because these are color changeable. I think it's just the pic uh, the masks on it, and like all the warning stickers on it, and there and there. And when this truck come out, I highly doubt there was a warning sticker on every darn thing. I think whoever made this out black sheep went a little bit over the top. And I, I myself will be going in and editing that and removing them personally. So this is the IT runner backed one. I will be... Please tell me you can adjust those mirrors. <laughs> For God's sake. Oh, it's the camera. Wow. So it's the, the actual camera movement change in the FOV. As you're going faster, the cameras on the mirrors are changing. Ah, uh, that's weird. Those mirrors you can't even see, which is a pain in the butt. Interesting. As I was saying, from what I'm seeing, I quite like this truck actually. It's got its quirks, as you just saw there, and texture imperfections like there where it just says just skin, you can see. I don't know what's causing that particularly. But it goes kind of weird, and it's the same on that side. Not sure what causes that. I think it could be to do with the masking. Could be the colour too, maybe not uh, the best colour to go with. I was going with my usual drab green. Used the military theme. Now you can lift up the rear axle there, you can have different tyre options. I've got the, what they call the forestry, it's knocking tyres. To me they look the best sort of stuff for farm sim as there's actual real tread in there instead of being fake, non-real lugs on tyres. And we've got the Bobcat from Arm Team, which is pretty damn nice. That's a skister. It's hard to go wrong on that, admittedly. But it's pretty damn sweet, so we'll be using that on here, I think, as well. Now, Wakefield, I've taken, like I said, a break from it for a while. The reason I've done that is just I saw people getting bored of it. People, the views dropped. And the views dropped, then, well. Evidently, you guys have got bored of the map, so I'm bringing it back today. Mainly because I wanted to play it personally. I haven't put the money into it yet, so it's, we've still only got the 20 grand that you start off with. I'll need to do that. 
put the money in uh, that we had, which I think was I'm going to put in 300k, because I believe that's what we had on the previous game save. Still need to buy... Uh, oh no, we've got the fields, I believe. It looks like we do. Yeah, so we are effectively good to go as far as that goes. Uh, we'll just chuck this on course play with no issues. Let's lower. Oh, yeah. Mouse control for the door. Oh, maybe I have to do it with the truck. Okay, what one is it? Oh, up and down. Really? I thought so. It's weird. There's a weird script going on here. Watch. So when it changes like that, it's being powered. Not being powered. That's literally the difference. Alright, that's kind of funny. And we'll fold that up. Which is really neat, it's like on cables. Not the sort of thing you'd see in the UK by any means. Not that I know of. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll open up course play. That's good, because if we didn't have course play, I would have just ended the video. I almost didn't record uh, today. I just kind of want to mellow out and chill. And again, I've had a crap night's sleep, so. I'm feeling pretty damn tired right now. Simple generic course. I do need to get to bed early tonight. Like, as it stands right now, obviously it's Wednesday tomorrow. And you may be going, oh yeah, of course it is. Well, I'm recording this a week ahead, and tomorrow's the day I fly out. So, all the usual stuff being experienced. As far as that goes, okay. Closest waypointer, of course. Alrighty, we are off to the races. I can get into the first seat. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to edit this truck. I like it, I just don't like all the stickers all over it. All the warning stickers, even if it's possible. The smaller stuff, like. Uh, as I say, you got the warning sticker there. This again, which just wouldn't exist. That going down the side of the truck was probably real, but that's the new emblem. So I would get rid of that on the grounds of this is an old truck. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of them. Yet again, we've got another warning sticker on a fake PTO that wouldn't be there in real life. Number plate will get changed. And same on this side. Even that, I think, is the modern logo for the man. Well, I'm guessing by the number. BSM, Black Sheep Modern, 97, this truck. One thing I do kind of like, it, which is subtle. That there. I do like that on the... On the visor. It's a shame. I understand why they didn't do it. But those two lights there aren't beacons. They're just regular lights. But the interior is sweet too. Of course, the fuel light's flashing because the engine's off, but got all the lights there. Put the hazards on. Those flash. It's pretty cool, I don't know. If, I think that's it. But it is nice. They've actually done a good job. Just a few quirks to work out. A few quirks to work out for sure. Uh, what else have we got going on in the yard? Uh, this is what we've got left of the classics, the two JCBs, obviously the loadal, uh, the plow for the classic machinery I've already got on the map. Uh, I've got this thing. And this is where we... Oh yeah, it got completely stuck, didn't it? And... Slot that. Uh, get rid of that. 
So what we had to do on this field, I planted using creator tools sugar beets in here. Creator tools, if field definitions aren't 100% accurate, it will put grass everywhere. Or well, not grass, but any crop, including going under, under the fence and over the road. So just like this. This isn't the map. This is creator tools and it planted sugar beet out here. Needless to say, I'm going around fixing all of that. That in the road, I'm going to have to deal with grass being there. Sucks. Not happy about it, but again, I'm just going to have to deal with that. So this will cut back until basically the proper line and the proper shape of the field. That's why we're doing this. So I basically plant the grass down just to get the edges back. But in doing so, I've kind of got to fix all of this. It was a shortcut I took, which ended up becoming a long cut. So creator tools I thought would be real neat. Prefer planting fields up real quick and uh, yeah, I planted this field. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. And it's worth possibly checking what fields you can do that on with creator tools and not saving. Which I should have done on this field, but at the same time I didn't need a stupid amount of sugar beets. Which we've actually got sugar beets to sell too. But I probably won't do that until we are ready to... Once we've got our... Well, yeah, you know, actually we could get away with doing that now. Just to get rid of them out of our trailer. So we probably will do that. Probably use the new man truck. Swap over to that. Something different. I don't usually use modded trucks, but Black Ships 1 I've been looking forward to actually, and 2, it's on consoles and I think Black Sheep's stuff is usually, honestly, maybe not the best quality, but optimization wise, I think it's up there. I'm not sure what tractor horsepower this is, it's, oh the 560. I could do the do with the bigger one on here. So this is going to be the big tractor of the map. Granted, when we were on the other save, I said, oh yeah, we'll get rid of it, it's just for trials. Nah, we'll keep it, I quite like it. You guys probably knew what was happening. It, out of the tractors that have the 3D tracks, this is the better one. It really is. And the one that we've got on Metagrave, which we'll be getting rid of, I keep on saying that, but I haven't done it yet. That one is decent. Major issue with that is the tracks just act funky at times and it's very noticeable when it bugs me so the old piece in the grass in here doesn't bother me because when we see it will fix it my main issue is all of this stuff along here now I don't think you can create a field with this Let's double check in. Yeah, no, you can't. Perfect. So, making sure I'm not screwing stuff up. I'll go wide there and see. No, no, we're good. And what I'll do is run this down the road. And hopefully, it will get rid of that stuff. Hopefully, I don't know if it will. I've got a feeling it's just going to keep growing back. Which is going to be a pain. I may be able to plough it under the road. Wouldn't be legit, but it's a way around it. Yeah, after me doing that, I was almost actually at the point of restarting this game save uh, again. But I didn't want to do that. That made no sense. Oh, okay, it looks like the combine's actually almost full, so we'll... Lift that, fold that, climb the hill, get open the gate here, get well I'll start to get out of there. Head over to the combine, use the man truck to empty. I wanna see what that's like. Come on. That's our second headland by the look of it. Sweet. And if you remember this is a field that you had to have well create your own course and basically or create your own field boundary. Can't 
don't remember how much it said. It can hold, I think it's 44, 40,000 liters of rain. That's one thing I'm surprised no one's ever made for the UK stuff. And I, I specifically say UK because I don't know if European ones are the same. And that's a grain bulker truck. Unit like this. Obviously they're shorter normally, I think. Typically. Is it MMT already? Yeah. I didn't take them. Like I said, I can sit there. But yeah, uh, just a grain bulk, okay, that'd be kind of neat, I think. Now what we'll do is we'll go into here. Completely unlegit turn around. Unfold this and see if it will work the way I hope it will. Got a hunch it won't. And the fact I'm probably going to have to come down with a small plow. No, but it's cultivated in the side there, son of a gun. Uh, it's actually thinks it's a field now. We may just have to forget that was ever done. Alright, let's bolt this back in the field because there's no way we're going to be able to successfully turn around. Oh, that is so frustrating. You guys don't even know. It's so frustrating. So, if you guys have got any ideas how to fix up, let me know. But it's actually. Yeah, of course it would. Because it knows it's a, it thinks it's a field. Oh man. That sucks. Maybe have to get in there with a cedar. I don't know. Take the collisions off a cedar, possibly. And looking at the time, coming up to 4 o'clock, I will be able to check in in the next. What, 60 minutes? Online checking. My flight out, I typically like to. I used to have a window seat all the time. And then I realised quickly that, honestly, they're not as good as I thought. Looking at the. Looking out, it was great, but. If you need to get up to go to the bathroom, you have to ask everyone to move. And not that I get up that often, but as soon as I got my laptop, that's when things changed, and I went for aisle seats. Why an aisle seat? Well, I, I've seen what people are like getting their luggage in, or getting their luggage out of the overhead lockers. They're not easy. If I'm there, I can help people, or more importantly for me, to protect my sort of property, and my laptop, my, well, my asset to work, as soon as we can, I'm up. Opening that locker, get my laptop out. As long as I've got my laptop out, I'm good. I'll, then I'll help everyone else. Which I quite don't, didn't end up doing. You quite often get elderly, or to be quite honest, people that are just short. And I'm not particularly tall, but taller than some of the people on board the plane that can't reach their luggage and need help putting it up there or taking it down. Uh, last trip on the way home. Or on the way back to the UK, should I say? Because to me, I'm going home. Uh, I helped someone, ended up, I think I ended up helping putting their luggage up there and taking their luggage down. So this truck we are going to leave over here and keep it separated. We're going to go for the same colour scheme and I'm about to sneeze. Wonderful. Can I hit the mute button? Time. Yes, yes I can. Oh, buddy. I really need to put a mute button on the same page of my stream deck that I can... I hit the record button on. Oh, that hurt. Oh, boy, that hurt a lot. Alright, so we'll put the cheap money on again. 
Yep. And we're still. I don't. I would never use these words in a title because there's some people that just always use them. We're still setting up. There's no two ways about it. Well, I'm still setting up this darn save. All right, black rims, jet black. Uh, and let's go straight. Well, not black. Uh, let's go straight up red all across the board. We will set up. Let's have a look at what the white tires are. I'm probably going to change it, and I'm going to put the trailer attachment on. Uh, with no bulba. I don't like the look of the bulba. So we should cycle over to it. Here it is. This, this is it with the normal tyres. So you guys can see what I mean. Doesn't it look better with just, well, tyres that actually have lugs? And this kind of does, but they're very thin. Not realistic. So. We'll swap over. It's not often I say this, but it's a shame this doesn't have normal road tyres. Yeah, I think it would kind of look better if it did. Maybe it does, actually. Uh, well, that was white tyres, forest tyres, standard. I think it does. Yeah, it does. And because this is a normal truck, I think I will rock these. Until I get bored of them. <laughs> then I'll swap it over. That, that classic stuff will take over at another time. No, we've got the hitch on the back. And because we've got the hitch on the back, I'm going to hook up to this and take this back. Oh wow, that's... That's not legit, there's the PTO and there's the hookup point. But if it works, it works. I just want to trailer it back, don't want to operate it. Oh, is this not actually working because it's all messed up? Yeah. Um, not sure what's going on here. Hmm. We appear to be broken. Back this up. <laughs> I know what the issue is. It's these tire options. I think. We'll see. I'll lift this axle up. Oh yeah, look, it even comes through. So we'll switch off the four-wheel drive. Doesn't go anywhere. Black sheep, black sheep, black sheep, when will you learn to test your damn mods before being released? Now, if it's not working on PC because of these wheels, that's one thing. Well, what I should actually say, if it's not working on PC because of... I've got drive control in it, it's one thing. If it's not working because of the road tire config, that's an absolute joke. Because I see it slipping there too, look. I think it is. I think it's drive control. Which I think is one of the most widely used mods out there. Now, I must say this. I tested this truck earlier, and it was working fine, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. 
But I do believe it is drive control causing the issue. And I imagine... Yeah, so it's basically become front wheel drive as soon as that axle gets lifted. Wow. That's, uh... Insane. Let me know your guys' opinion on that. Because... Yeah, widely used mod rather. Is it me or does the truck seem way high on the rear? Now I'm not picking on that. I noticed it earlier actually when I was testing this. We will have a look in a second once we get around this corner. Because there's no other hydraulic controls other than this. Huh. Oh dear. Well, word of warning. If you're using drive control, be prepared for this not to work properly. So, honestly... It's probably not black sheep, so I'll take back what I said earlier. That would be a drive control. Again, though, stick to what I say. It's one of the most popular used mods on PC. Goes back to what I've always said about black sheep and those guys. Why they don't have two versions of it, that is beyond me. Well, that squats down hardcore. Which again, lift that axle. Oh wow, it does really bombs out, doesn't it? So we'll lift that axle. Now it's not powered. We'll switch off the four wheel drive. Now, drive control is thinking that the wi ax axle that's lifting is supposed to be powered but that rear axle there is supposed to be powered I've never seen that before so it's really messed up and even then it's still slipping I would imagine black sheep are going to have to put up Patch for that, whether they will or not, is another question. It really is. Alrighty, so where are we going with this? That's a shame. The other, one, the other truck's not like that, I don't think. Oh, the comment's probably full. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's go jump in this. I know you guys are going to hear running uh, water noises. Apologies for that. Nothing I can do. Yeah, see, this is okay. Which is interesting. So maybe they need to set it up like this. Which, again... I know, I was going to say it would make more sense if it was a trailer and axle, but you can have both. Doing it like that. I don't know. Again, let, let me know your guys' opinion on that. What is it? I think it is drive control... Having a slight conflict with what Black Sheep have got set up for the way the lifted axle works. And for whatever reason, it's wanting to put it at four wheel drive, but what it should be doing is putting it four wheel drive at rear axles, not fronts. So we'll load this. This probably. I won't. F yeah, it may actually. I can't remember how much that combine can hold. It's a good amount. And we'll probably wrap it up here, to be quite honest. Maybe if I'm quick enough. You can grab the thumbnail. There we go. So I will bid you guys farewell. Let me know what you think of the trucks in the comments down below. Of course, you guys would have had time to play with them. Um, uh, 
should be back to hopefully tomorrow to stream. There's no promises. That being said, who knows if I'm headed to Canada. All well and good. And go through the border. It's always a worry, guys. Always a worry. And you can probably tell the closer, closer I'm getting to it, the more anxious I'm getting about it and all that good stuff. What's the dirt skin like actually on these? Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. There's a few tweaks that need to be made. But I like these trucks. I really do. So, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the flip side. Later.